This year, an 18-year-old boy, man from Alaska, impregnated his 17-year-old girlfriend, and he was honored by being invited on stage at the Republican National Convention. Don't tell me that racism is not a demon, and it's a demon that needs to be dealt with, addressed, taken by the neck, and killed in the name of Jesus. I get so ticked off by Christians that tell me it's not about that. We don't need to deal with that. You better deal with it. It will deal with you. You better let your children know that it's alive and well or it will deal with you. But God is God over and God can destroy that devil. Rumors of war are no longer rumors of war. We have young men and young women connected to this very church who are risking their lives to a war that should have never been. The devastation of Hannah and Ike, and how could we ever forget Katrina, have caused destruction and erosion in Louisiana, Mississippi, Alabama, the Gulf Coast, and the Lower East Coast. My time is up. Can I take a few more minutes? In his book, The Gospel Remix, Reaching the Hip Hop Generation, Ralph Watkins says we are living in an hour where the church, civic organizations, and the like have lost their influence over this generation. I want you to hear me. That's why the church must continue not to change its message, but must change its methodology. If we're going to reach this generation, this is not the generation that I come from. I'm 51 years old. I know the old hymns of the church. I know church protocol and church etiquette, but we're trying to reach a generation that may be educated naturally, but have no spiritual education at all. And the church must reach all. We must preach to reach each in the name of the Lord. I don't want to go down that street. That was my 7 o'clock message. I talked about the church being loving, lifting, liberating, the church being relevant, the church being engaging, the church reaching and inviting. One young man, one of my young sons in the church today said, I brought eight people with me to church. I brought eight people with me to church. When you start taking God seriously, you will invite people to the church that where you worship your God. And let me suggest this to you. When you begin to take God seriously, God will take you seriously. Far too many of us want God to take our prayers seriously, want God to rescue us from the time of trouble, but we have not honored God. We come to church anytime we want. We want to get out as soon as we can, and we don't have any more time for God, and God is allowing so many things to happen in the nation, in the world, and he's forcing us to put our attention on things above. 